Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got some books that made me hungry while I was reading them for you. Alright, so I know we all love a book that talks about food, talks about all the delicious things they're making, so um, let's go ahead and just dive into this little pile that I've got for you today. Okay, so the first one I'd like to talk about is Shots on Goal. So this one was an absolutely fantastic little masterpiece of a book. Um, this follows Cody and um, Roman, who is a hockey player that's been traded to a new team and he's having trouble making friends. Um, and also follows Cody, who is a college student going for library sciences. They happen to meet at a library where Roman is doing volunteering and Cody works. So Roman has a bunch of hobbies. He loves cooking, he loves baking. Um, so this book is filled with him making cookies and soups and pasta and just all of the things and like feeding Cody and his roommate Mitch who is also a hockey player. And it's just a fantastic little story and like you guys have heard me gush about this series a lot this year. I highly, highly recommend. Okay, so next up is Yagi the Bookshop Goat. So this one made me hungry in an unconventional way. It made me hungry for more stories because Yagi is a goat and he happens to like eating paper and books, which isn't, you know, the best thing for working in a, um, a bookshop. There we go. Um, but you know, he loves stories and he just wants to, er, and Yagi has this um, ability to eat a book and taste the flavor of the story and be able to tell you exactly what it's about. And it's just so cute and fluffy and it just made me hungry to read more books. Um, so next up is the Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. This made me hungry for pastries and tea and it's just lovely. This follows Lila Reyes who is going to England to spend the summer with her aunt and uncle and she ends up kind of worming her way into working in the kitchen um, to help make baked goods and just like the descriptions of this are just fantastic and I would love to visit Lila's uh, Miami to visit their bakery and you know a good cup of tea in the middle of a dreary London day. It's not to love. Okay so next up is Bloom. Um, this one I haven't talked about in a while but it's fantastic and I love the way that it's drawn. I love the color. I love this family runs a bakery and like all of the love that goes into the food they make. It's just a lovely book. So this follows Ari who has just graduated from high school and he really 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 wants to move uh, with his friends to the big city to you know work on their music um, because they're in a band but his parents want him to help them over the summer with their bakery and it's just how things go and it's just a lovely lovely book and I could not recommend this enough. The next book I have for you is Love and Other Disasters. This follows Dahlia Woodson and London Parker who are put onto this cooking show that's kind of like MasterChef um, where they compete against each other in these challenges and they make food and just like the descriptions of it are just amazing and they both have different reasons for wanting to be on this show. London has just come out as non-binary, um, Dahlia is coming off of a really bad divorce and somehow they fall in love with each other and it's just lovely because they bond over food and cooking and baking and just making snarky comments about the other contestants on the show and snarky comments about the judges and it's lovely. Alright so those are the books that made me hungry while reading them. Are there any books that made you hungry while you were reading them? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video don't forget the like button. If you haven't already but would like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to Follow me on social media for more bookish stuff. Check out the links down below. Ready? Bye, guys.